Hey guys, Roger Langer here, Charlotte, North Carolina. Welcome to the call. If you're in Charlotte, North Carolina, it is snowing outside. My kids are freaking out. My daughter's in kindergarten, and uh, she's finally got her first snow day. Lucky kid. This is the earliest it's snowed in all of North Carolina history, so she's off to a beautiful start in her education career. <laughs> Uh, welcome everybody from you know around the world here tonight. We have people on the call from uh, all across the U.S., Canada, Australia, U.K., uh, somebody chiming from Manila, Mexico, uh, Russia, every, everywhere around the world. And I want to thank you for being here. The, the reason for the craze, if you've caught the vibe, if you've caught the spirit and uh, heard the big post on Facebook that went out, uh, go to meetings actually trying to figure out a way to uh, allow us to have more people on our webinars because we've just absolutely crushed out the numbers in our first uh, 70, 75 days. Uh, we're dominating Alexa, if you're familiar with that. It's a popularity of a website, and we're well below the top 1,000 in the U.S. and the uh, top five, 6,000 around the world. And, and that should be a clue to you. Don't listen to what I say. Don't let me tell you you can make money here. Don't let me fool you, trick you, sell you or anything. Just use your logic and realize if we're the top, one of the top websites in the world about 70 days, and we have thousands and thousands and thousands of people registered beyond here tonight. That's, that's what we call success leads clues. Probably nearly uh, 10 years ago, this road to this webinar started. Um, I started selling on eBay myself. I learned, uh, invented something called drop shipping, no money out of pocket, no, no stress, no stuff in your garage, no risk to you just an opportunity to start changing your life. I got lucky. I was in a corner. I had a subprime ninja loan mortgage. I had to make it work. So I started making eBay work, and I, I fought through it, and I, I got all over the bumps and the humps and stuff like that and started making really good money um, working from home, watching my little girls grow up. And from there, I started trying to train people, and I was charging $2,500. Don't let that number scare you. We're not talking about anything tonight. And uh, people were having success. I was training with a phone. I had no skill set. And along the way, uh, I met a couple uh, gentlemen, a gentleman by the name of Kevin Hokawana. He's serving in uh, the Air Force. He's not here tonight. He's over in Japan. He couldn't be on. And a gentleman out of Texas named Hitesh. And Hitesh is going to be coming out here in a little bit. And these guys enabled me to bring this uh, product to market to share with everybody. So we started that, that adventure, August 23rd. We started putting things in place and launched September 1st, and now we're just flooded with inboxes of people celebrating and having hope for the first time or the second time or the third time. But the bottom line is they now have hope again, and they also have a little bit of money in their bank account. Some of them have a lot of bit of money in their bank account following the process, as you're going to see here tonight. And we're not a hype company. We're not going to show you a bunch of you coulds, possibly, maybe, if you do this, something's going to happen. We're going to matter of fact, we show you how to do it. Without further ado, I know it's a work night, a school night, wherever it's not snowing. I'm going to have a gentleman that I'm honored to know. He's a father, a family man, and uh, just one of, one of the, the top Internet people in the world as far as uh, you know, making money online, different programs, incredibly humble, incredibly great guy, just extremely knowledgeable on everything from online, offline to life lessons. Please welcome Mr. Haytesh. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> well, glad to be here, but Roger has this habit of embarrassing me before I even get here. And <laughs> then it's like really hard for me to get into the flow and try and explain stuff. So, anyways, um, most of what Roger said is true. Um, it, it, I do know different ways of making money online and all that stuff. But um, the reason that we are on the webinar tonight and the, re the stuff that we're going to be talking about is actually very different from that. Because despite all the things that I know how to do online, I know for a fact that vast majority of the people cannot do that. In fact, to promise people that, hey, you'll be able to make money if you just do what I do, would really be disingenuous. And that's, I actually find most of the people who sell stuff like that to be disingenuous for that reason. Because most people are not going to be able to do what we do. So actually in that regard, um, let me show you guys the thing that you've heard about, that you've been on, if you've ever been on a webinar before. Actually, if you've been on webinars before, and if you can see my screen right now, can you just say like, yes, or I can see the screen, or I've been on a webinar, or I've seen stuff pitched to me before, or stuff like that? That would be awesome. Awesome. Lots of yeses. Brilliant. Okay. So 
here is what you've usually been pitched, right? In some way, shape, or form or the other, this is always the basic thing that everybody pitches. They, they start out by showing you a massive screenshot of their bank account, and they show you a car, and they show you some rented car, usually, or some rented house, and they're like, oh, look, this is where I live, and this is my car, and blah, 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 and you can have all of this stuff, too. So I think it's bizarre. It's kind of a joke. But here's what they sell you on. This is the business model they sell you on. They say, look, you just got to find an offer or a product, and then you're going to create a sales page or we will give you a sales page. Then you'll tie in some squeeze pages or to build lists or whatever. And if you don't know what stuff, this stuff means, very good because you don't need it. And then you're going to send follow-ups and you're going to drive traffic to this whole funnel. Okay? I've actually taught this in the past. It's not wrong. It does work. But this is very, very technically challenging. Okay? So that's the first problem. But on top of that, this part here, driving traffic, some of you have heard these terms, PPV, CPV, CPL, CPA, email marketing, PPC, SEO. It's like, like all of the evil little words all combined together and it's, just, it's like a headache for people. And here's the thing. We know that this is a bad thing for people in general because there's a 98% failure rate with this stuff. 98% of people who try these things will lose money, not make money. Okay. And unfortunately, the way people sell other people on ideas like this is they say, but look at the 2%, look at how much money they, they do make. And that's just, you know, that's just not the way to go about it. So here's what happened. Uh, when Roger and I met, there's this whole method that we had been talking about. And what we found is all of this is way too hard to do, okay, for most people. I can do this really well. Roger doesn't do this stuff as well. But Roger does something else that he does really well with. So we combined some of our things and we combined some of our skill sets and here's what we decided. We said, okay, let's eliminate these steps. Let's eliminate the finding offer, creating sales pages or tying in squeeze pages and all this stuff. Let's eliminate driving traffic. And then most of all, let's eliminate any cost to begin. Okay? So our whole idea was that we're going to come up with this business model where we're going to start out, we're going to say, okay, we're going to start out with virtually no cost. We are not going to need any traffic or any work and we are just going to leverage the biggest businesses out there and the biggest platforms out there to start making profits with that. Then we'll use our profits to grow our business. That's pretty common sense, right? Okay, That's very, very sensible. That's not some grandiose idea. That's not some magical software or anything. It's just simply saying, look, here's how you run a business. You start out, you make a profit, you use the profit to grow your business. There's nothing really special about that. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to start out with step one, where our goal is going to be to make immediate money. Okay? That means we are trying to make a profit. That does not mean that we are trying to make a million dollars or even $10,000 or even $5,000. We're just trying to make $500 to $1,000 in pure profit. So you are, your cash flow positive, you actually have something to go with. And we're going to do this with no traffic, with no technical stuff, with no selling or recruiting or anything like that. And we're going to do this entirely with what we call piggybacking. We're going to combine basically three different places. We're going to use uh, the DS domination platform, which as you can see is one of the most popular platform out there right now. It's not like some gimmicky thing that somebody cooked up. It's very, very popular. And then we're going to use the site called eBay, which hopefully you guys have heard of. <laughs> it's pretty massive. And we're going to use a site called Amazon, which also you've all probably heard of. So we're going to piggyback off of these three platforms in a very unique way and we're going to just generate an income straight up with them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the screen off to Roger and he's going to follow the whole process. We're actually going to show you the whole process of exactly what you're going to do. Okay, This is not, um, okay, now that you know this, give us some money so we'll show you the process. He's actually going to walk you through the process. And I'm going to show you how this can be done at virtually no cost or at very little cost, if even that. And then we'll move on from step one to step two on how to scale up the business and how to start generating much more profits and then eventually how to turn that into automated income. Okay? Now there's only two things that you guys need to do. First, as Roger is walking through this, take mental notes. Okay? Don't, you don't need to write down stuff. It's not complicated stuff. But take some mental notes and as you come up with some questions, okay, hold on. When Roger finishes, we're going to take all the questions. We're going to answer all the questions okay? uh, after step one. Second, keep asking yourself a simple question. Can I do this? Does this make sense? Okay? Don't believe anything just because Roger said so or Hitesh said so. Okay? You should never believe a random Indian on a webinar, whatever the guy is saying. You should just 
really think about it yourself. Is this logical? Does this make sense? And can I do this myself? Okay. So with that said, I'm going to hand this over to Roger. And if you would please do us the honors of walking through this. Absolutely, guys. No problem whatsoever. And again, I'm going to, I'm going to, you're going to get tired of me saying, can you do this? It's, you're going to say, shut up, Roger. Okay, that's fine. But I'm on Amazon.com, and question one, can you go to Amazon.com by yourself? You know, if I'm not around right now or no one's around, can you type in the box, Amazon.com? Of course you can. It isn't actually what you're going to do every day to build up your income. This is the exact process. Remember that. So question one is, can you type a word into the box? And I'm going to type blue into the box, okay? I'm also going to include the word Amazon. Why am I doing that? Well, on Amazon, there's other sellers that sell on Amazon, but if I put Amazon behind the word, it's going to bring up all Amazon results for the most part. So I could start with cat, dog, dishes, piano, snowstorm, Cheetos, whatever I want to start with. I'm just going to start with the color blue, Amazon. I'm going to click go and look at the results. And of course, all of you can do that. The uh, first result is this dishware set. It's $18.43 with some free shipping on Amazon. I'm going to go over to eBay, and I'm going to type in a few keywords to try and find them. I'm going to type in Pyrex. It's for the kitchen, and it's a 10-piece set. So I'm going to search Pyrex kitchen, 10-piece set, and I'm going to see what comes up. I'm just looking to know the environment over here. And when I look, I see there's 26 results. And it's glaringly obvious which ones are Amazon pictures and which ones are on grandma's and mom's and dad's kitchen sink. All white background, Amazon picture. This one taken on someone's countertop. This one taken on someone's countertop. Amazon picture, Amazon picture, Amazon picture, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so we can all see the difference between which ones are Amazon pictures and which ones aren't. So I'm going to do a little bit of research. I don't care to sell this item. It doesn't matter. I'm just, at this point, I'm saying, who's using Amazon Photos? And that's all you'll be doing every morning. Hmm. Who's using Amazon Photos? And what you're going to learn is Amazon's going to actually become your supplier. So if somebody's using an Amazon Photo, Amazon's their supplier, so you can do some research on it. So I'm going to click on this little box right here, and I'm going to look, and I'm going to see the seller's username is Bernardo123456 over here on the right, and I'm going to click See Other Items. Hmm, what do you got for sale? No big deal so far. And I see he's got this uh, jumping jack thing here. He's got 1,793 results. All I'm starting to realize is he's got all white backgrounds. These are Amazon items. Some of these items are buy it now. Some of them are auctions. So with 19 hours left, this is up to $72. It has one bid on it. This is a buy it now. If you want those locks, you buy it for $20. Okay? I'm going to scroll through, and I'll take a look at some dishware here, $29.56. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to see that he sold six sets of this dishware for about $30 and about $5 shipping, so $35. Okay? Now I'm going to go back to Amazon and see what he's paying for this dishware set. I'm going to copy this right here. I'm going to grab some of his text, and I'm going to go back to Amazon. I'm going to say, huh, your customers are paying $35 for a set of those silverware dishes. And your cost is $25. So you're making $10 minus some eBay fees. He's making about $6. He sold six of them. He made $36 in that listing alone. Pretty soon you'll understand it took him four minutes to make $36. So I'll dig a little bit further and I'll go down. He's going to sell this uh, leapfrog thing here. He's got some other things up for sale. He's going to sell that. But I'm going to skip a couple steps. Well, not skip steps, but I'm going to look at his completed sold listings. Instead of going through these one by one, I'm going to click on his sold listings. And can you guys click on his sold listings? Yeah, you can go do it right now. And I'm going to see he sold 439 items in the last week or two. This one sold November 11th at 627 p.m. It's some sort of safe. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to say, okay, this sold for $46.00 plus $6 shipping, about $52. What was your cost on that safe? I'm going to copy this and go back over to Amazon. I'm going to paste that in, and I'm going to see how much money he made on that safe. 
It cost $29 free shipping, so he made about $23 in that save minus some eBay fees. He made $18 for four minutes work. I'll just check one more and I'll show you exactly what it is you do. Let me see if I can find a buy it now. Here's a buy it now. It's a difference between an auction. Superman decals. Sold them for $23.48. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to copy this right here. And I'm going to go over to Amazon and see what his cost was on these decals. Copy, paste it into the search, click go, and there it is for $14, a markup of $10. So what does he do, and what would you do in this case? Well, again, you would get up in the morning, you would go to Amazon, you would type in, blah, Amazon, cat Amazon, I ate a biscuit last night, Amazon, uh, whatever. <laughs> whatever you want to type in the box. Then you come over to eBay and do a little bit of research. It takes two, three minutes. And then once you find someone, you can go ahead and now you can list this, maybe sell it for $22.99. And instead of making $8, you make $7 for four minutes' work. That's about $105 an hour. Okay? And then I'm going to teach you how to out-title him. I'm going to show you how to take his title and use some of the good keywords and get rid of some of the bad ones. And I'll give you a quick example of a bad one. If you were, uh, if you were into comic books or superheroes or your kids were and you said, you know what, my kid loves comic book decals, would you type in comic book decals, fast ship new? No, you, you don't want these as your keywords. So I'm going to teach you one of the bad words and how to replace those. So if you have a better title and you're $22.99, this person is $23.48, Who's going to sell it next week? You're going to sell it next week. So let me put the pieces all together for you. This is Amazon.com. And these are some decals that are on Amazon.com. You don't pre-buy these, nothing. You take this picture right here. I'm going to show you how to move it over to eBay and put it up for sale. Here's the description right here. It includes 26 wall decals. Easy to apply. Just peel and stick. Scroll down here, includes 26 wall decals, easy to apply. I'm going to show you how to move the description over to eBay, and that's it. You're going to move the picture, the description over to eBay, and that's it. So let me do some firestorm thinking here. Can I move a description, a picture over to eBay if I'm on this call? Of course you can. How do I know how to price it? This guy set the market for you. It sells for $23.48, sells for $22.48. What about my title? Take this title and use what we call title optimizer software that we built for you and just make it better. And that's it. Put a word in, it'll spit out the rest of the words for you. No thinking. Now let me put a nice little bow on it for you. Let me show you what happens. When this comic book decal set sells right here, that means, let me grab a pen, this means that this person, whoever bought it, then pays this guy or this girl $23.48. Now this person has $23.48. They're going to go over to Amazon and they're going to take this item and they're going to add it to their cart and they're going to ship it direct to that guy or girl that bought this and already paid the $23.48. When they buy it, eBay is going to say, hey, Renato123456, you had a sale. Your comic book sticker sold. It sold to John Smith in 123 Main Street, anywhere USA. Go ahead and ship it. And Renato's going to have that address, and he's going to go, cool, eBay, thank you. And he comes over here, and he adds it to his cart, puts John Smith's information in there, 123 Main Street, anywhere USA, ships it direct to John Smith, has not pre-bought anything, has had no risk whatsoever, made money copying and pasting, $60, $70, $80 an hour, and this is our introductory training product that we're showing you. Tesla will go over a little bit more, but what I just showed you is how to start putting capital in your pocket. And if you've done business at all, and you understand the, the fakeness of what Tesla described as all these fake millionaires and stuff, you understand real business is about going into profit. I just showed you how to do that. Back to you, Hitesh. Beautiful. Well, um, can everybody see my screen? Okay.
because I'm going to do a quick recap and then we're going to actually answer some questions and then we're going to talk about a couple of very important things about this, okay? So, at this point, all we have done is that we went to a supplier, okay, in this case Amazon, and we went to a marketplace, in this case eBay. We took a product from Amazon, we copy pasted it over to eBay, okay? Um, actually, you know what, let me do this with a visual. So here's, a, here's Roger, okay, this is actually, as you can see, he has his logo on and stuff. So here's Roger, and what Roger does is he literally just hangs around right here between Amazon and eBay. He posts products and items from Amazon to eBay. When something sells on eBay, he goes ahead, and now he has a bunch of money, and he uses that to restock up on donuts, but then he also does something <laughs> else. He says, okay, I have a bunch of money. Um, I'm going to use this. I'm going to take the profit from the sale. I've just marked it up. So on Amazon, something cost $75. He's selling it on eBay for $100. And after the eBay fees and the PayPal fees, he has made some profit. Okay, he has made like something about $18 or so. Okay, now he's going to take this 18 bucks as his profit. And now he's going to start expanding his business. So at this point, does this make complete sense? Do you guys see? We did not talk about any traffic generation. We did not talk about any technical stuff. We did not talk about any selling or recruiting or anything like that. This is simply taking advantage or leveraging of the, the existing e-commerce business out there. Okay. Now, though, here's what you have to realize. This is great, and it's making you some money, but this isn't enough. You have to get to a full-time income level. right? So here's how this whole thing plays out. This Everything in the step one, Okay, and we're going to talk about a few more things here. Everything in the step one is very easy to do, but there are some slight complicated co complications in there. Okay, and we're actually going to talk about the complications as well because we don't want to give you a false idea that this is there's just nothing else involved, just copy paste. There is a couple small things that we want to talk about. This first step is what we call pro. Okay, remember right in the beginning I said we're going to take advantage of three things. Um, we're going to take advantage of the DS domination platform. We're going to take advantage of Amazon and eBay, and now we're going to talk about some other things as well, but this pro on DS domination costs $19.95 a month, okay? Now, you can imagine that that one sale basically offset the whole cost for the DS domination platform, but we're going to actually talk about how to make this virtually free as well, so you don't even have to pay this, um, and basically get that back right away. So, we'll talk about that in a second, but here's what we're going to do now. We're going to take these profits, and we're going to move on to step two. Now, our aim in step two is slightly different from step one. We're going to use our profits from step one. Okay, that's what we're doing now. We're still not going to deal with any traffic or tech stuff. But now we're going to scale up to a lot more products, a lot more listings. We're going to scale up onto a lot more sources as well. So instead of selling just from Amazon as a supplier, now we're going to have a bunch of other suppliers as well. Okay, so we're not dealing just with Amazon. And then on top of that, we will try and make much higher dollar per sale okay so right now you know we basically made 18 bucks here really 5 to 20 dollars per sale being your profit is pretty good in this first step in the second step you're going to try and scale up to about 20 to 100 dollar profit per sale okay so that means you make a sale a day and you're pretty much good to go okay now like I said, there are a few questions that you will have. We're going to go over step two, and then we're going to talk about those questions, and we're going to talk about some very specific things and some of the complications about the whole process and how to get past them. Okay? So, um, Raj, I'm going to hand this back to you if you would walk us through step two, which is called Elite in DS Domination. Okay? So, here is the screen. Absolutely. Here Thank you, guys. Thanks, Hitesh. You know, so along the trail there, a little bit more of the background on me. So I'm working at this restaurant 86 hours a week. I discover that there's money made on eBay, and I go through the pitfalls and trip over myself and make all these mistakes. And again, started making money for myself, didn't have the skill set to bring it to the market. Could do one-on-one -on -one private training on the phone, but that was bringing it to one person and really was me making a lot of money training one person individually and had no like uh, mass um, ability to bring it out to market and I met Hitesh and Kevin and et cetera, et cetera. But along those roads, I, I started realizing, well, you know what? I can do more and make more money if I go outside of Amazon. 
I could start looking at some specialty products. I could start looking at some other sites. So I went through the other sites and tripped over another million things as I started developing out the other sites. But as I had that down and I started solving what sites were legitimate and what sites that I could make money at, the profits became absolutely huge. I had a glass ceiling on myself. You see in business, there's, there's a lot to learn way beyond just making your first dollar. There's glass ceilings. I was up to 400 items. And I was making, I don't know, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 maybe a year at that point. I said, wow, that's it. That's all I can handle, 400 items. And then as soon as a, you know, a car would break down and a little bit more money, guess what? I could handle 420 listings or 440 listings. And I started to educate myself and started understanding I really had no glass ceiling. When I started doing $1.2 to $1.8 million a year, I had about 2,500 listings up from multiple sites. And I found Amazon was fantastic for like $5, 10 $15 money-making items. But I started to realize there was $50 and $100 and $200 and $1,000 money-making items available. If you think about Walmart, Amazon would kind of be like when you go in and the gums up front and the water and all the stuff, it's a buck or two and they make some money on it. But the, the expensive stuff, like the furniture and stuff, is out on one section and stuff like that. That's kind of the, the vision I had for my eBay store, my eBay sales. And as I branched out, I started finding items like this. Here's an item right here, a silly item I thought I'd start with. It's a chicken coop, of all things. And who would have thought I'd put up a chicken coop? I didn't think to put up a chicken coop. I did that process where I typed in blue Amazon, but I did it on a different site, and I ended up realizing chicken coop sell. Who knew? I didn't know anything about chicken coop. So the cost was $288. We went ahead and sold that on eBay for $395.97. Not a $10, $20 markup, $107 markup. If I take a look at this, this is some sort of weather type device. And the cost was uh, $99. I don't know if you can see it, but we actually sold two of them for $219.58 each, a markup of $120. We sold two of them, $240, minus some eBay fees. Literally, four minutes work, a couple hundred dollars. I know that seems absolutely insane to everybody, but once you get to know us, it's not just I did it. Everyone's doing it now. Facebook is littered with... I just made this, I just made this, I did this, I did this, I'm quitting my job, can't wait for Christmas, awesome. Next item I want to show you guys, this is a little patio furniture set, $449. If you look at that, you might say, yeah, that's a pretty nice looking patio furniture set for $449. We went around and some people on eBay said, yeah, that's a nice looking patio furniture set for $546. And we turned around and sold three of those in 24 hours. Okay, hundred something dollar markup times three. Now, now we're talking about three hundred dollars for four or five minutes work. Okay, and then it it just it goes on and on and on. Here's uh these eight leather back chairs. We took eight leather back fancy schmancy chairs, right? Like we're fancy schmancy people, and we sold them each set of eight chairs for a thousand ninety nine dollars. We sold two separate sets, so we took in nearly $2,200, and the cost was $579 for eight chairs. So we marked those up. We made about $1,000, and again, four or five minutes work. It was just the knowledge of where to pull them from, a little bit of research, and then uh, that title optimizer that's absolutely fantastic that had cash built. Okay, how about some TV sets? We sold this on eBay for $43.99. The cost on the TV set after rebates and everything else was $32.99, a markup of $1,100 on that. And by the way, we haven't mentioned it yet. It's 1.30 in the morning over in the UK, but I know our call's packed out with folks over there making money. So we did some other sites as well, and we're international. And here's an example of um, this, this television here. Our price was uh, $299 from the supplier, plus we get a 10% discount there, so it was $269, and we sold that in Tonbridge, United Kingdom, for $379, and this is the money that's available by branching out, lessening competition, having more sources, and we call this Elite. Back to you, Hetesh. 
beautiful. Well, let me first of all take the screen. <clears throat> Everybody understands at this point what we have done. It's actually not rocket science to go from step one to step two, right? Step one, we understood the basic idea that we're going to sell on eBay. Step two, we're just going to use a lot more products, a lot more sources. We're going to make a lot more dollar per sale, okay? Now, here is where I also want to take a moment and not just answer questions and, and some of the obvious objections, but I also want to talk about some of the complications that happen in here and why we actually need to um, use some of the platform stuff that we have over here. So, first of all, let's, let's go through some of the questions quick. Okay, and then we'll go from there. Um, one question came up about what do you do with refunds? What happens if somebody purchases something and then you have to give them a refund uh, because they wanted to return the product? Well, actually, that's a very, very simple thing. All you do is you go into Amazon, and this is all covered within the pro training in here. You can actually go in, and it's like module number 11, I think, um, as you can see over here, the Astonishing Pro module. It's right over here. Um, and it, what you can do is, it costs you nothing, you just simply print out a label, not even print out physically, but you just send it over to the customer, and they will, Amazon will actually cover the cost of the shipment and everything. The customer, it costs nothing to the customer, and you can basically process refunds very easily. Now, on top of that, if it's a product that you actually send to them, and there's some other reason, like the, the person says, you know, I just don't need it anymore because my mom bought me the same thing as well or things like that. You can actually get uh, a 15% restocking fee. So you can actually make money even on the refunds. So there's a whole thing about that in here as well. Okay. Now, uh, let me address some of the obvious issues that crop up. The first question is, how do I find products to sell, right? If I'm just starting out, I have no idea how to do this. How do I find the right products to sell? Okay, here's how you find the right products to sell. Um, within the DS Domination Pro platform, you actually have an Amazon research system built in. So what you do is, in my case, I just typed in the keyword gravity boots, and I click search, and it's going to show me all of these items. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say that I only want to sell the best products that are available out there, right? So I'm going to say, show me only products that have a rating of greater than four. Okay, so that means they're good products. And then show me something that costs less on Amazon, it costs less than maybe um, 85 let's say, but it's old price, which means it's market value is greater than 100, okay, that way we know that there is a clear distinguish, you know, there's a clear profit margin there to be had. So I'm just going to hit enter and immediately it shows me the one product that costs 76 on Amazon and I can, its market value is close to $160. It has very high rating, it has plenty of reviews, it's a popular product. All I would do now is I would open this up, I'd copy paste the information from here over to eBay, and we are good to go. Okay, so that's how easy it is when it comes to researching items and figuring out what I should sell. Now we could, we could make it um, a little different, we could say, you know, less than 90 and now I'm going to find another product right here. Um, it's $89 on Amazon, it's market value is close to $250, and this is an example of how much you can mark up some of these items. So it's very, very easy for you to do that when you have the right uh, software to go with this. That's the first Well, what's thing. so powerful about this, Satesh, I don't mean to cut you off, but just kind of... No, you didn't mean to cut me off, I know how you are. I, I did mean to cut you off. But I could ask a, a billion people around the world what they thought would sell well on eBay, and nobody would say a teeter hang-up, a uh, PS3 backstretcher, okay? You would never think of that. You would never think of a chicken coop, probably. But the system bears out these items, and just reason number 10 million why um, there's so much money made with DS domination. Back to you. Thank you. Um, but <clears throat> so this is this, this takes care of our first thing, right? The first thing is basically, okay, how do I find the product? Now we have found the product. Um, now we need to know how to actually have the right account on eBay. How do we sell the items on eBay? Things like that. So for that, you actually have Roger literally walking you through the process through very short three to five minute videos. So it's very focused, very practical. You walk through that whole process. And then if you have any more questions or you have a special unique situation or something, you can actually ask questions live every single week in the live training. Okay? So we have that section done. Now come some of the specific issues or some of the specific um, deal, things that eBay does to prevent abuse in, in large scale. One of the things that, for example, eBay does not like is people coming on there and everybody's using the exact same image. Okay? They, they sometimes will make a big deal out of that. So what you do 
is you go in here, let me find the right place for it. Um, you're going to go in here to the image resizer and you're going to take an image of any item from Amazon. Okay, so let's say that we're going to sell a frying pan or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try and find a frying pan right here. And this is an image of a frying pan. Now I'm going to put my eBay username in. So let's say my eBay username is DST Rocks. And I'm going to select where I want my username on the image. So I'm going to hit submit here. And now here's what we're going to do. We're going to just quickly crop out a small area of the image, the actual where the product is. I'm going to click on crop. And now I have my eBay sized image, which has my, if my eBay username embedded on it. And when I upload this on there, basically eBay will not have any more issues either. Okay, so that's one of the other issues that people come across. And most people, you know, when they, when they ever present something to you, they don't want to talk about the complications, right? They don't want to talk about what could happen. We like to be very upfront about these things because it actually will help you see why other people can't do this easily. This is why not just everybody can do this. You need to know how to find the right products. You just saw how to do that in a, in a click. You need to have um, ways to get around the image issues with eBay. You just saw in one click how to do that. Now the final thing is having the right titles on the products that you list. Okay, because there are different type of people who are looking for different things. So I'm actually going to do this in front of you. The final step of the whole process is creating the right title. So I'm going to go ahead and click go and I've typed in gravity boots. Remember we already selected gravity boots in our first step of the research and here's what it's doing. It's telling me here is the best category to put this in where the most buyers will be. Here are some other categories that you could also post this on and then here are the specific words that people are typing into eBay when they're looking for this item. So you can actually take these and create your own unique titles and we actually have obviously a video that walks you through this process and this makes sure that you have no competition on there that you are selling more than anybody else and basically is the perfect way to get all of the right type of buyers looking at your listings. Okay? So it's an extremely easy process uh, when you're using this platform to get all of your eBay listings going and things like that. You research the product with the software, you follow Roger's training on how to manage your eBay account you use the title optimizer to create the title and you use the image optimizer to take care of the images. It's literally copy and paste. Okay, there's literally nothing else. It's all just copy and paste. That's, that's how easy this is. Okay, when we move on to the elite side of things, on the elite side of things, we do the exact same thing except now we have a lot more product sources, remember? So now what we're going to do is, we actually selected one of the product sources and I said, I want to make $45 per sale and I typed in the keyword trampoline and now it's going to show me all these trampolines that are available and all these different things related to trampolines that I could go out and sell. And here's, for example, it's telling me the price on this site where this is from is $76.99. But if I listed it for $140, after the eBay fees, after the PayPal fees, after all of those tax issues and everything combined, I will basically make a $45 profit just by copy pasting the information of this product onto eBay and using the title optimizer to make the right title. Okay, So does everybody understand what a couple of the issues are and why you can bypass them very easily when you're using this platform? And if, if you guys are clear on these things, then we're going to talk about some of the questions that we have coming in. I'm going to answer those questions and we'll go from there, okay? Hey Tesh, could you open me up a blank paint document real quick if you don't mind? Yes, I can. Here, we'll make your picture blank, okay? <laughs> so guys, as um. As you're seeing all that, there's some experienced eBay people and they're going, wow, that title thing's going to save me a lot of time and make me a lot of money. And wow, that picture thing is an answer to a prayer and, and this and that and that. If you're new, you might be like, I, I see the tension here, but I, but I don't see the exact flow. So I want to talk to you about the mechanics of putting an item on eBay and, and what's involved. You're going to actually have just a few things. You're going to have to do a title. So we can just draw a title box for me. So what do we talk about about doing a title? We looked at other people's titles that I first started out with and said, that title's a bad title. Remember it had Fast Ship New in there, and I said, would you ever search for Fast Ship New? And, well, we have a title optimizer to do that for you. The other mechanic of eBay is adding a picture. Remember I said we're going to take pictures over from Amazon, just put them on eBay? We're going to take a shortcut and run it through the little software thing that I test demonstrated in two seconds, and you shouldn't have memorized that. You shouldn't be able to explain it at the water cooler. 
there's a video right there. Two minutes, you'll know how to do exactly what he did. The other mechanic of eBay is you're going to put a description in. Where does that come from? Remember on eBay, uh, those bullets I read off to you about those comic strip characters? You just copy and paste that over, and that's your description on eBay. And then you've got to put a price in. Well, what do you put for a price? If you're using the thing that said price it at this to make $45, that's your price. If you're looking at a competitor and going, he got 27, I'll get 26. That's your price. And that is an entire eBay listing. I'll say it out loud. On eBay, you click sell. They're going to say, what are you selling? Comic strip characters. Cool. What do you want your title to be? Right there. Um, can you add a picture? Yep, just did it. Uh, what's your description? Copy and paste it. What do you want to charge for a price? There it is. Submit. Done. Two to four minutes, and that money is yours. So if that seemed complicated, that's exactly the mechanics of an eBay listing. And oh, by the way, I have 20-something videos that says, here's how you open an eBay account. And you're watching my computer screen as I'm going, go to ebay.com, click Start Selling, put a title in. You're seeing it on my eBay screen. You're not getting an ebook. You're actually seeing my eBay screen as I'm doing it. So very simple for everybody. Back to you, Atesh. Thank you for demonstrating this. But uh, can I point out one more thing? Because I, I, I sometimes forget that people are so used to being on other salesy webinars. So now, like, we have all these questions. People are like, so you are selling the software? How much is the software? Guys, the software doesn't cost no. anything. <laughs> that, no. that was my point right from the beginning. We are leveraging <laughs> DS domination. We're not laughing and the at you guys. This is the war you guys have gone through. Yeah, it's just, it's yeah. just very different, right? So yeah. this, the, all the software I just showed you guys and all the process that we just showed you that's included in Pro, that's included in that nineteen ninety five a month that DS domination's step one costs. All of the training, all of the software, everything is part of that. So we're not selling you any software in, in addition to that. We're not selling you anything in, in, on top of that. We're explaining how to leverage the whole thing. So <laughs> it's just funny to me because I forget sometimes how used to this, you know, people are really yeah. used to being sold on stuff. When I showed you the other software, when I showed you guys uh, this software that now also calculates your um, pricing in there and shows you many other sources, this is also free. It's actually included as part of the elite platform. So it's all in the members area. It's all in there. And there's a few people who have asked, is this webinar being recorded because I want to go over this again? And we are recording it, but you will never need to go over this again because if you actually follow along the steps in here, you don't need anything. You just go to pro and you just follow the training in here. That's it. You will never need anything else. And if you have any questions, get on the live training. If you have more questions, write on the support desk, and that's it. Okay. So let, let's let's continue the process, though. Okay. Let me let me finish the process quick. So this costs ninety ninety five a month. When you are ready uh, to progress, and some of you will say, you know what, I'm ready to progress right now. I just want to make bigger profits. Some of you will say, my situation is that I don't have a lot of money, and that's completely fine. In that case, you're going to go to Elite using the profits you make. Okay? Now, Elite costs $99 a month. Okay? And just like with Pro, it has live training and all the training and the software included in it. Okay? So you're not going to spend that money out of pocket. You're going to spend that money using the profits you've already generated so that your true cost out of pocket is always going to be as close to zero as possible. Okay? Now, there is one more thing that's in here that I want to talk about quickly because I said right in the beginning that we're going to show you how to get started on this at virtually no cost, right? So there's a thing in here called the cash out offers. Okay, now here's how cash out offers work. You go in here, um, first of all, tell me how many of you have ever been to Costco or Sam's Club or have ever purchased anything from Amazon? If you've ever done any of those three things, just say yes, I have, okay? That way I know that you have. Okay, so lots of you have done that. Now, you know that when you go into Costco, they tell you, um, hey, I need to, you need to buy, you need to basically sign up for this American Express card before you can purchase anything. You can only use the American Express card to purchase things in there, right? The same way Sam's Club has an offer. And when you go to Amazon, when you check out, they always tell you this offer. Take 30 bucks off, right? Take 30 bucks off if you sign up for our credit card. The reason they do that is because these credit card companies then go right, go ahead and give them money, right? So when it, whenever you go to Costco and you get an Amazon uh, Express credit card, 
Costco gets like 50 bucks or something like that. Okay. So what we did is we actually found those kind of offers and we said, okay, here's an offer for Discover card. If you were to sign up for a Discover card, we get paid $45. But instead of keeping the $45, we just turn around and give it back to the user. So if you had zero money, you said, I have, I literally have, you know, I'm down to my last hundred bucks. Then here's what we would do. We'd say, okay, go in here. When you, when you join in your first 15 minutes before you even watch the videos, do some cash out offers, okay? Order some Disney movies so you can get 17 bucks for that. Um, get a Discover card so you can get $45 for that. And that way, you have more than made back the cost of everything immediately, okay? So, if, if you, uh, I, I hope you guys understand how novel this webinar is. We're not trying to sell you software. We're not trying to sell you all the stuff. We're actually just trying to show you the process and how to leverage all these different companies, all these different platforms together to create a sustainable long-term business very, very easily. Okay? Now, there is um, one more step to this whole thing, which is, now that we're doing all of this stuff, it's time to optimize our pricing. You know, we can actually make more money in this whole process um, using different options like coupons and cashbacks and things like that. Okay? There's a bunch of stuff that we, can, that we can do there. So that final step in this part is called Unleashed. Okay? And that Unleashed is a one-time cost. Again, remember what I said from the beginning. Don't buy things right from the start. You buy it using your profit. Okay? So Unleashed costs $249 one time. Now again, you're going to spend that only out of your profit. But you're going to make that back pretty much right away because you're going to be making that extra money per sale made. So you're going to make money on the profit because there's a difference in the price and you're going to make money now whenever you sell it because these companies are going to give you additional money. So I'm going to actually give it to, uh, hand over the screen to Roger. It's going to show you some very specific examples so you guys can see how this plays out and how this works. Okay. So here you go, Roger, if you want to show us some examples. Awesome. Thank you. And you know, back to, uh, back to just way back to the beginning for a second. Somebody said, well, why would they buy it on eBay instead of getting it um, on Amazon? Well, you know, a lot of you guys out there right now, or girls, you're wearing clothes, and you didn't get the lowest price, or you stop and you get a can of Coke at the gas station instead of getting it for 50 cents at Walmart. You didn't have the time, or you didn't read the research. You just said, I want a can of Coke. I want these blue jeans. But some people do research, but we're dealing with millions of shoppers and some people just say you know what I like that chandelier I want it and they buy it they don't know that there's other chandeliers at, at someplace.com or amazon.com or they don't know where it came from they just say here it is I want to get it alright and I'll prove this to you right now how much does this chandelier cost go ahead and put it in chat how much does this chandelier cost from the supplier that's on the screen well what's the supplier what's the difference how much does it cost are these uh, real crystals what if I told you it came from Tiffany's? What if I told you it came from Macy's? What if it came from Amazon? It doesn't. But what, are, what you know, the factors are, you just see it and you're like, I like that. I think that's gaudy. I think that's ugly. I think that's cool. That'll be good. Right? And you make that decision. Well, I'm not sure what you typed in, but the cost on that's $122.99. And so we went around and we sold that on eBay for $182.99, a markup of $60. And we sold five of them. Okay? And then, you know, we went ahead and we sold this bouncy water slide type thing for $1,576.50. And the cost was $434. These are actual listings. Some more patio furniture. Sold it for $495.99. The cost was $348. But here's the great thing about Unleashed. Here's the power of Unleashed. We didn't pay $122.99 for this. That's what they wanted to charge us. We paid about 109 for that. So doing the same process, if you were doing Elite and you sold that, you would make $13 less because you didn't know how to optimize it and make even more through the relationships that we have with different companies. Okay? This didn't cost us 434 We get 10% off from this company through Unleashed. It's cost $43 less or $39. Okay? And this is what we do. This one is sold for $4.95. Our cost was $3.48. We got $68 off of that. So the process is once you get up to Unleash, you, you, got, you got your feet wet and pro. You're up to Unleash, you're starting to make some great money, and then you're like, 
well, wait a minute, I, I made 2000 this month, or 3000 or 4000 I could have made five or six doing the exact same thing, are you kidding me? And that's the Unleashed product, okay? So doing the exact same thing, you make even more money. We sold one of these for two forty one seventy five. The cost was one seventy nine ninety nine. For everybody else in the world, our cost was one forty. So we actually would have made a hundred on that instead of uh, seventy eighty dollars. And that's the power of Unleash. Back to you, Hitesh. Are you muted, my friend? Yes, I was muted. Sorry. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> Perfect. Uh, finally. Yes, you finally got me. Close well, the door. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> let me answer a couple of questions that I kind of forgot last time. The first question is, when you first, okay, when you first start out selling on eBay specifically, okay, when you first start selling on eBay, um, PayPal is going to hold your money. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. Remember this example where Roger was selling. Um, something for 75 bucks, he was selling it on eBay for 100 to finance his donut habits. Um, the same, what you're going to do in this case is when you go and you list it on eBay and you're brand new, PayPal is going to say, look, we're going to keep, we're going to give you the 100 bucks, but it's going to be held in your account. Okay, they're going to put a hold on it because they want to make sure you're legitimate and they want to make sure that you will actually send the item out. So here's what you need to do then you will just get this item from Amazon for 75 bucks and ship it to the customer. Okay. Let's say that the customer's name was Joe and Joe bought it. So ship to, to Joe and once you have shipped it, you will give the tracking number that Amazon gives you. You're going to give the tracking number to PayPal. Okay. So you give the tracking to PayPal and now PayPal will release your funds. Now remember that as time goes on and PayPal realizes and eBay realizes that you're a legitimate person, they will no longer hold your money. Okay? They just want to make sure you're legitimate. Now, some of you will be in a situation where you'll say, listen, I don't have 75 bucks. I don't even have $75. How do I finance the $75 if I don't have it up front? Well, there are two things about this you need to understand. First of all, this $100 hold is held for a maximum worst case scenario. Okay? And again, I'm doing the opposite of a salesperson, right? I'm giving you the worst case scenario, not the best case. Worst case scenario, PayPal will hold this for 21 days, okay? If you had to use a credit card over here, you would get that money back, right? Within 21 days and you'll be able to pay that off. That's one option. Second thing you can do is, if, especially if you're in the US, apply for the PayPal card, okay? So you can use the PayPal um, MasterCard, okay? PayPal MasterCard, and then you can use that to buy stuff directly from Amazon. So when you use this to buy it from Amazon, then you don't actually need to worry about where is the money coming from because it's coming from your PayPal account. Okay? So you guys will not need to worry about that at all. Okay? The final thing is when you move on to Elite, you don't even have to deal with Amazon if you don't want to. You can go to other places and there are other places that actually accept PayPal as a source. So you can just use them as well. So there are lots of different workarounds to this and on top of that there are specific trainings that we go over that specifically talk about uh, where Roger explains, okay, here's what you need to do to make sure that they will not hold your money, here's how you do it to make sure that, you know, right in the beginning to get it verified so they won't hold it for that long, all that kind of stuff, okay? Um, and those change for different people. Sometimes they'll remove the hold when you sold five items to ten items. Sometimes it's, they'll remove it when you sold twenty-five. Um, that's kind of the upper limit. Usually if you call them up, they'll say, listen, we'll remove the hold when you sold twenty-five items. Okay? So it's a very straightforward process. It's a very simple process. Now, hopefully all of this makes sense to you all. Okay? So does this whole idea make sense? Does this whole thing make sense? I, I believe it does because there's a lot of people already saying, okay, how do we join the domination platform? Okay? The, the easy way to join the DS Domination platform is there's nothing special to do there. You just go to this page, the DS Domination slash sign up. Okay? Um, let me walk you through this too because I want to make sure everybody gets it. Uh, you just fill out your information and this is the key part. You're going to down here, you're going to see the person who referred you. Okay? In my case, it says Rosewood DC Jason Rose. In your case, it should say some, something else. It should say the person who invited you to the webinar today. Okay, so you guys need to make sure that that's the link and make sure that you actually get back with the person who referred you 
to make sure that you have their link, okay, because you want to credit them. And that will actually be a segue into our a third step of this whole process because we've covered the first step, we've covered the second step, now we're going to actually talk about the third and final step. Okay. Now before we get to the third and final step, go ahead, finish this process, Okay, finish the sign up process and stuff and then when you get back, we will start with the third, third step. In the meantime, we'll just answer some more questions. Okay. Hey guys, Roger here really quick. Um, first, I, I would like to hear from some new people that are on here for the first time that understand how drastically different this is from everything you've ever seen. Like a real product, the, the thing you've been looking for, for maybe a month, maybe six months, maybe a year, maybe since you lost your job, maybe you've been pounding away on the internet for five years buying ebooks, buying filling out surveys, everything else, getting these empty promises and you realize how absurd the other things look now um, when they show you these screenshots. We can show you screenshots, you just go out and Google Ferrari image and you grab the pic of the Ferrari image and, and put my donut head in front of it, whatever. We can do that, we have the skill set to do it, but that's such garbage. What you want to look for is people that have, have made money already and are successful enough that now they're, they have a concern for mankind and, and human beings. And, and don't go out and try and put a $1,995 price tag on all of this, which we could easily do. So we just said, all right, let's make it so it's pretty much free, 0 to 1995 depending on the path you take, and then show you guys how to work your way up. We don't say you know what, this is 20 and then where this is worth another 100 this one's worth 200 more, it's $769 tonight, guys. We don't do that, even though we pack out the webinars are absolutely full each week with 1,000 plus people on if we sold that and did like 10% so bought it 100 times, you know, $1,000, $2,000, we would be in pretty good shape. But that doesn't help anybody, okay, because some of it is too much for some of you guys to take on all at once, the expense and all of the information. We have a top product in here that's actually $499, but I guarantee you're not ready for it yet, so we're not even going to show it to you. People are making insane amounts of money with it, but we don't want you jumping to that. We don't want people in an economy like this spending $500 out of their pocket trying to get rich quick. We want you to go slow. We want to work with you for a long time. We want your success story. We want your life change. We want the Christmas photos. We want everything from you. And we, we want to lock arms and take a stand. And that's what we're doing. So everything you've seen up to this point as people are over there signing up in droves and coming back as quick as they can is all about making money on eBay, okay? And, and we didn't even talk about if you're actually going to be making money on Google, maybe the test will touch on that in just a second, for no extra effort whatsoever. But you're making money on eBay with all these suppliers, and it's just like the world. It's just like if you own a physical store on the corner of 123 Main Street and you had all these suppliers that filled your shelf for you, while well, you'd be risking things, you'd be paying electricity, you'd be paying for the store, um, you know, you wouldn't have the customer base that you do on eBay. So now you have all of that. So suppliers supplying you with items that you don't prepay for, selling them on eBay, literally selling high and buying low. Now, at that time, your store's up and rocking and rolling and, and you got things going. Well, you got that store on the corner, 123 Main Street, only it's on the internet. You're making all kinds of money and you're happy. But you know what? You're still going to have to walk into that store every day. You're still going to have to unlock the door at 123 Main Street, just like you're going to have to go on and list things on eBay. So this next step is about residual income. This next step is never showing up to 123 Main Street again, never having to list an eBay item, never having to ship an eBay item, never having to answer a customer's question. It's not bricklaying. It's not difficult work. But eventually, you're going to want complete and other freedom. And we have a ton of members doing the next process that you're about to see, making money on autopilot without even an eBay listing. So we're going to teach you how to make residual income by simply sharing this amazing system with people that you know that want to make money with a Facebook post, with that, whatever you want to do. It's so easy. And this is the next step financial freedom, walk-away income, sandy beach type stuff. You're going to see it touch put things up here like a customer. We're not talking about an eBay customer. We're talking about a customer that wants to share DS domination just like someone shared it with you. So this is the final step 
on your life cycle from going from zero to 1995 all the way up to financial freedom. Back to you, Hitesh. Thank you again, Senor Roger. Um, let me first very briefly touch upon this one fact that you will be selling on additional marketplaces when you do step two. Um, and that specifically is referring to you will actually be showing up in Google listings. You will not be doing PPC. You will not be paying stuff for that. You will not be doing any of that. Um, but you will actually be selling products and people will be able to find your products when they search Google for any of those products. So as you can imagine, a much bigger marketplace than even what we've talked about. We didn't get too much into it because it unnecessarily complicates things and many people just don't even like hearing the word or hearing Google mentioned because everybody has pretty bad uh, experiences with them. So um, that aside, um, let's talk about the final step. Okay, The final step in this whole journey, this whole business plan is a step three. Okay, Now before I get into the specifics of step three, let me explain very simply the conventional wisdom that all of you know. Okay, Conventional wisdom states this, and, and in this case conventional wisdom isn't really wrong. Okay, It's actually pretty accurate. Um, here is the income cycle of the average person. Okay, So this right here on this side on the y-axis we're going to chart the income and on this side we're going to chart the age on the x-axis. Okay, And here's what happens. So let's say that uh, we're going to start at the age of 14 or, or even 12. Okay. You start out, you're babysitting, mowing lawns, and, and so on and so forth. And then you start getting educated, you get some more experience, you, go, you move on to flipping burgers at McDonald's, then you go to college, and while you're at college, you're doing some jobs, you know, managing computers or whatever. And then you graduate, you have a degree now, hopefully in something worthwhile, and you start generating more income from there. And then eventually at this stage in life, okay, this is basically considered the peak income time of everybody's life, 35 to 55 is when you're going to be making the maximum amount of money in your life, okay, in your income, okay? And then after that, your income starts going down, and when you're a senior, it kind of ends low. Okay, now, the funny thing is that everybody goes through this journey, okay, in, in general. Very few people completely avoid the journey, but most of the time, this is what people do. And here is what wisdom says to us. It says, look, by the time you get to 55, you have to start preparing for retirement. Okay, and this is a time that people start investing money and putting money aside because their aim is that even though their income will go down, income, let's say income from labor will go down, they will still have this investment income, right? So they are counting on this investment income or passive income, income that they don't have to work for. Okay. Now this is the dream that everybody has and unfortunately this is the dream uh, that people sell you on, right? But when we devise the whole model behind DS domination, how it's going to work, this is basically the model that we applied it on, okay? And here's how we did it. First of all, you start out with pro, okay? You start out, you have, you're making nothing online, right? You start out, you get pro and this is when you get pro and you start making your first income online with, with just selling on eBay, Amazon. Then you get elite and you start making a lot more income and then you get your unleashed and you start making your peak income during that time. Now you're making a peak income with that dropshipping side and there's, there's other stuff in there with monopoly and stuff that we haven't talked about yet and we are not going to talk about it. But once you get to this stage, remember that you're still making the listings, you're still making the sales, you're managing the customers, things like that. And all of our aim is, our dream is, we need to move off of that and move to a passive income model. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to move away from this and we're going to say, let's start focusing on a passive income model. This is the dangerous place where most people end up and this is the dangerous place where more people start. This is the point where you need to think about traffic and mass market and generating an income. Okay. And this is where most people unfortunately get caught up in standard MLMs or network marketing, things like that. How many of you have tried your hand at affiliate marketing or network marketing or MLMs, you know, juices or shakes or things like that? Um, if you have, you know, just, okay, great. Um, but maybe not, not great because there's a ton of people who are saying yes and about a ton of people like, oh, yeah, I have tried it maybe a little too long. And that is probably a little too long. Now, all of you know from experience, right? Here's what happens. They tell you, oh, you just get two people or three people and they get three people or two people and blah, 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 and everybody's making a bunch of money, right? Well, no, that's not what's happening. 
mathematically, the people down here will never make enough money because they have to go out and recruit more people, right? So mathematically, this is a mathematical fact, not just that people didn't put in effort. Mathematically speaking, if everybody in the world joined whatever MLM it was, people down here will not be making money. So they're going to start dropping out, which means that this guy is not going to make enough money. Now he's going to drop out and this guy is not going to make enough money. And that's exactly what happens with every single one of them, okay? So if you have been through this experience, it's not because you didn't put in the effort or because of, you know, whatever excuse that the company or your sponsor or upline gave you. The reality is that mathematically this is not a sustainable model, okay? And this is the part that nobody wants to talk about because I guess it's not politically correct. But on this webinar, we're all about being politically incorrect. That's why we've started out with this, a picture of Roger. We believe in being true and transparent. So here's what we're going to do now. I, I, I just want to apologize. I want to be clear. This is not really Roger, okay? I feel bad after every webinar because then people write him messages on Facebook saying, oh, I hope you lose some weight and stuff. So this is not He him. never feels bad and they write me messages and I look good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So let's, let's analyze this and let's fix this, okay? Because there are some good things about it. There are some horrible things about it. There are three primary conditions when it comes to making a, or having an affiliate offer or an MLM offer or network market, whatever you want to call it. There are three basic conditions that if it doesn't meet these conditions, then you will not be able to succeed in the long run, okay? The first thing is that it has to be residual. Now, that's a basic common sense thing, right? It has to have some passive income. So when we talk about promoting DS domination as an affiliate, you ha have clear passive income. You have passive income because pro and elite are both monthly subscriptions, right? So you are going to be earning an income on a monthly basis if you're an affiliate for this, okay? But we're not going to focus just on that yet because we know that that's what many companies do. They have residual stuff, but they all fail, okay? So the second condition is called leverage. Um, this is what most companies are actually built upon. Leverage means earning on other people's efforts, okay? They're not in a bad way, not like exploiting people, but simply that when somebody that you are working with when they start doing well, then you start doing well, okay? Um, and that's pretty common sense that we should have that. So the way that we incorporated that in here is we said, okay, we're going to add a leveraged tier model where people are going to earn affiliate commissions on level 1 through 10, okay? So that means that you'll be actually earning an income not just from the sales that you make, but all the way down to level 10 whenever sales are made, okay? Um, and I don't want to talk about it too much because, you know, so, so many companies offer stuff like that, no matter what, what stand model it is in. But the final thing is, this is, the, this is the key difference. It's called sustainability. Okay? And this is what every company lacks. Okay? They lack, they lack sustainability. What happens is, like I just showed you here, they cannot sustain themselves because mathematically they will never succeed. Right? Mathematically, these guys will drop out and therefore it will never succeed. So here's how sustainability is built. There's a very basic, simple mathematical fact about this. And obviously, we're playing to the cliches, right? Let's put the Indian guy to talk about the math stuff. So here's what the basic model works like. Um, here's a company or a vendor of a product. And here is the affiliate. Okay, And the affiliate is you. Okay, So here is the affiliate, you. Now, here's the job of the affiliate, right? The job of the affiliate is to go out and get a customer for the company. So let's say that this company sells shakes or juices or whatever. Um, you, the affiliate, goes out, gets the customer. The customer gives some money to the company, and then the company gives you some commissions, right? Here is the problem with this model. Um, the customer is always in the, in the black, well, I'm going to use red, but it, because red is bad, but the customer is always spending money. He's never actually making money, okay? Um, therefore, the customer is not going to sustain in the system, and the customer will drop out, and you as the affiliate has to go out and do all that work all over again. And we already talked about how there's a 98% failure rate when it comes to traffic generation and stuff like that, okay? So that's a, that's a failing proposition right there, and that's why, if you notice, up until now, we didn't even talk about this side of things. So here's how this is so different. Remember that a customer in DS domination actually comes in and he is generating an income from eBay and using Pro and Elite and so on. He's actually going to follow the same journey of step one, step two, and step three that you are going to be following. So he's actually making dollars and here's a very basic, simple equation. If the green dollars is greater 
than the red dollars, then the customer will be will stick around. Let's just say, okay. So the customer is going to stick around if his green dollar is greater than red dollar. Now you know for a fact that this doesn't ever happen, right? If a customer joins any company, his cost for buying whatever shake or juice or whatever is always going to be higher than his anything that he's going to make. He's never going to make anything from that. Now because of this phenomena, DS domination is completely different as an affiliate side of things. Those of you on the call who are marketers and you're like, you know, I'm looking for an affiliate offer, this is why this is so unique. So let me give you some very quick statistics that actually kind of blow your mind. So like we said, 98% is the failure rate as a whole. Okay, no company breaks the model on that. Okay, that's just the case beyond the everywhere. DSD has an 83% success rate means profitability. Okay, so it's 83% of the people are in profits within the first 30 days. Okay, that's a that's a qualifier there. Some of these people go on and be profitable in the following months because they just didn't put in time in the first month, or some people just didn't put in the effort. But DSD has an 83% profitability rate completely flipped upside down on the industry and because of that DSC has a 90 percent plus retention rate okay so now when we talk about these three facts here these three important criteria DST actually matches all those three important criteria that's why we are doing the webinar and that's why you were invited on the webinar because it makes sense to do that not only does it help you when you start out with step one and see, there's no pressure on this at all. We're not trying to get you to become recruits and join this and do this or do that. We don't want you to make memory lists. We don't want you to make, make a list of contacts right away. We want you to start on this journey. We want you to actually use the platform, start making an income, and continue from there. Okay? But remember what was, a, what was one important thing that I said right in the beginning. I said, we're going to focus on leveraging the existing platforms because traffic generation, because this whole stuff is so hard. Remember I said this traffic generation stuff is so hard and this, all of these things are so hard. We don't want to do that stuff, right? So here's what happens on the affiliate side. You're going to start making money with Pro. You're going to use some of those profits, get to Elite. You're going to continue building your business from that point on. You keep making money with that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to use some of those profits. You're going to get affiliate. You're going to become an affiliate in the system and you're going to get what we call market extreme, okay? Because we don't want to turn you into marketers. We don't want to train you to become marketers. We do if you want to be, but here's what we're going to do. Instead of telling you now go out and do all the hard work, just like with eBay, we leverage them. Just like with Amazon, we leverage them. With market extreme, you're going to leverage DS domination as a platform. So what you're going to do instead is you're going to take some of the money that you make from step one and two, and you simply go in and hire market extreme to go do the, all the marketing for you. So here's what Market Extreme will do then. It'll go out, it'll create the squeeze pages, it will go and drive the traffic to the squeeze pages, so it'll actually do the pages, and then it will drive the traffic, and it'll create those leads, it'll build the list, this sounds insane at this point, it'll do the follow-ups, and then it will invite the people to the webinar, like some of the people on this call right now, and actually I know who came from the system because we, can, we actually have a marker on their name, and then invite them to the webinars, and when the sale happens, when they follow this whole process, when they understand this business model, and they start out with Pro and Elite and so on, then you as the affiliate start generating income. So if, if I was to draw a graph of your life cycle with DS domination, it would look something like this. Okay, this is your income from um, the pro side of things and the eBay selling and the dropshipping side of things. And then it's kind of going to stagnate at this point because eventually you're going to come to the point where you're going to say, I don't want to keep spending all of my time on this. Right? Or you'll, you'll hire people and keep it up. And here is your income from the affiliate side of things. It's going to be zero in the beginning, but once you start generating this income over here, then it's going to start going up and the eventual aim is for you to replace your income entirely with this passive income. Okay? That's the whole idea. So now I want you to wrap your brain about around this whole model for a second. Okay? Understand what just happened. I showed you how to use Pro, how to get it for virtually free, how to use that to start building a business. Roger showed you how to do that entirely with eBay and stuff, how to grow onto Elite, and how to use all of that to build a sustainable self-serving an awesome business all for yourself.
Okay, we didn't talk about recruiting or traffic or technical stuff or anything like that. Imagine somebody doing exactly that same thing, and then you are actually receiving commissions for that, even though they joined this for virtually free, even though they are making money doing eBay, and they don't even care about the affiliate side. You are still making an income from that, and that's really the goal here. The goal here is to eventually get you to the point where your income comes from the affiliate side, so it's completely passive instead of coming entirely from the work that you're putting in. Just like this model here. In the beginning, you're going to work and you're going to build up your income. Then you're going to use the money you made to leverage that to make an investment income or passive income. Okay? Does that make sense or was it too complicated? If it was complicated, that's fine. Go ahead and ask questions. Okay, let me let me answer this question because there were there were questions about okay, how do you become an affiliate? Okay, here's how you become an affiliate. There's, it's very simple. Like everything else, we're super transparent and super easy to understand. There are only two conditions for being an affiliate. Okay, one, be an active affiliate. Yay, so easy. Okay, which costs nine dollars and ninety five cents a month. Now that's important because we actually take care of all the payment processing costs. We take care of the support costs. We actually don't pass any of those costs on to you like other companies do usually and uh, it also distinguishes our affiliates from our customers and that's very important right we need to distinguish the affiliates from the customers okay the second thing that we do is you must own the product that you are promoting to earn commissions on now this is a very simple condition because if you're going to follow this guideline if you're going to follow this process then you already have pro and you already have elite and you already have only so you'll naturally earn commissions on them okay so this is actually not a very difficult condition or anything like that why do we have this condition it's very simple uh, to prevent fraud we don't want people coming in here claiming that they're affiliates buying with their own link and basically getting everything half off okay and let me explain the final beauty of this whole affiliate thing okay the final beauty of this affiliate side of things is this um, we pay out oh, right about, actually not even right about, we pay out exactly 75% in commissions. So we actually pay 50% commissions on level one, which means if you make two sales, if you had two people who joined pro, that means your pro becomes free. If two people joined elite, your elite becomes free, which gives a huge, huge bonus for people who might be just starting out, they don't have an income themselves, but they can share this very easily. Okay, and this is so different. This is not you going to your friends and family saying, I have a juice that will change your life, buy it from me. You are instead actually, and this is literally what's going on right now, why DS Domination is growing so fast. What, we ha what happens is people start using Pro. This, they make their first sale in the first like day or two or three days or something like that. They make a sale, they go on Facebook and they post, I just sold a griddle on eBay for a $34 profit. And they have all these people who are like, oh, really awesome. How do you sell it? And they just say, oh, I'm using a platform called DS Domination that has all the training and the software to use. That's it. There is no salesiness to it. There is no trying to convince people about something or anything like that. And that's what happens. And I would like to just tell you guys that all of the terms I just used related to the MLM side, I learned them from Roger. Because I have not been active in MLMs, but Roger has been the number one guy in tons of different companies that you might actually have heard the names of. So this is not just uh, the ramblings of a madman trying to sell you his stuff. This is actually based on experience of Roger and it's based on my experience because I come from the affiliate marketing side and building these kind of systems as a whole. Roger comes from the MLM side and the eBay side. So we have a lot of uh, good stuff that we were able to bounce off of each other and, and create this. And in the middle we had Kevin Hokuana who unfortunately isn't here right now on the call because he's in Japan in Air Force. but uh, he kind of facilitated many of these things as well. So I hope that makes sense. Um, is the 995 additional? Yes, that's okay. All of the products in DS Domination are individual products. They're separate from each other, okay? So Pro is 1995 a month, okay? Elite is 99 a month, but it's not an upgrade. Buying Elite doesn't give you access to Pro. Okay, that's why it's a it's a step by step journey. The software in Pro belongs in Pro. If you have Elite, you have Elite software. You don't have Pro software, and that's why this is a journey. And in part, it's structured like this because it also is good for our affiliates. Okay, then we have Unleashed, which is a one time two forty nine. Okay, there's no monthly on it, and um, again, that's not an upgrade. That's a completely separate product. Okay, it's a one time separate product. 
buying that doesn't give you access to Elite or Pro. I just want to clarify that because I don't want to mislead anyone into thinking, oh, let me buy the 249 right now. Take your time, go through this as a journey, okay? Um, and then we have Monopoly, which we are not going to talk about unless a lot of people want to know about it. That's a 499 one time. Okay, again, we're not going to talk about it yet. Don't even think about getting it yet. We'll talk about it later. Um, then we have obviously affiliate, which is 995 a month. Okay, this is non-commissionable. And then finally we have market extreme. Okay, market extreme costs are one time 199, and that gives you the entire sales engine where you don't ever drive traffic. You don't drive. You don't do. You don't build pages out. You don't drive leads. You don't do email marketing. You don't do any of that stuff. It's all done on your behalf. Okay, so just wanted to list these all out for you so you can see all of these and all of these except this affiliate because legally you can't actually pay commissions on it. All of these pay 50% commission on level one and they pay 75% commissions across the board. So it's, it's pretty awesome like that. Okay, um, I'm going to answer one quick question and then I'm going to let Roger talk about Monopoly because we have a ton of people asking about Monopoly. Okay. So the, the question is, um, won't a customer receive their product in an Amazon box or whatever other source you're using, won't they receive something in that box? Wouldn't that be kind of, uh, you know, a, a problem? The answer is, yes, they'll get in an Amazon box and 99.2% of the time, they will not care about it at all, okay? Uh, they don't worry about it, they don't look at it. Very, very rarely do they actually worry about that at all, okay? So I'm going to actually let... Uh, Roger explained that a little bit more so you guys can understand that a little bit better and uh, then we'll go from there. You there Roger? I think you're in mute. I am Yay, in mute. I got you now. Very good. No, no, Very no. Good. Can I have the screen my friend? Yes, you can. If you ask nicely. <laughs> um, some of it, you know guys, we'll um, we'll do the best of our our capabilities in this time frame to answer all the questions, but you know we could get down to what if you sell a dresser? It arrives in Cleveland on a Wednesday and it's snowing, and we could we could go crazy. So um, some of it you're just gonna have to say hey, clearly this works, and, and I'll answer that that Amazon box question with this. I'm gonna click on advanced search on eBay. And I'm going to click on items by seller on the left side. I'm just going to show you a couple sellers that I've worked with out of thousands. Okay. We also have the saturation question attached. We want to address that in just a second, too. Um, so I'm going to type in this seller username here. Clearly, all Amazon photos, right? I'm going to click on the seller's feedback. It's got a feedback score of 45,520. Okay. And he has a 99.1% positive feedback. This is over, I've known this person for quite some time. He's been doing this system um, long before DS domination. So he's been doing it for about seven years. Um, he didn't start immediately in 1999 with it. Um, this means he's got about 135,000 transactions because you get feedback one third of the time. I'll show you another one. Click on items by seller. Type in a seller username, do a search. This is one, 27,389 feedback, clearly all white Amazon photos, 99.2% showed them four years ago. So you'll find that we, when Hitesh says 99.2% of the people don't care, that's a real number. Um, we do have ways to get rid of the uh, receipt, the prices, everything else in the box. So. I would not worry about that. Now, Hitesh touched on uh, Monopoly, <clears throat> and I told you the story as we went through the webinar and how this all came to be and the evolution of what I went through and everything else. So I'm up, I'm rocking, I got um, 176 emails coming in a day from customers and I can answer them in five minutes. Mm -hmm. My daughter's uh, one and a half years old, I'm making about 160000 doing 1.2 to $1.8 million in sales. I, I see her walk for the first time. I see her talk for the first time. Just everything for the first time. My life now that <clears throat> my, daughter, my oldest daughter, I now have two who came into my life, now involves um, I have to really manage my time on eBay. So um, she, she'll wake me up crying, and I'm, I got four hours of sleep, and I'll pick her up and come downstairs. And then it's 
it's breakfast and and I'm like praying that something catches her eye that's going to entertain her for three seconds. Okay, so I'm doing eBay and making incredible money and I start discovering uh, what if I reverse the whole process. Up till now we're taking all these products from all over the country, millions and millions and millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of products access to and literally put them up on eBay, make money. Okay, great sunny days. So I took a hard look at Amazon and I've been, you know, I've been nearly on Amazon since the first time they put up a, a book, okay? And I took a look at them, and I realized they did have a seller's market, um, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't very well explained, meaning you could sell on Amazon instead of selling on eBay. Everybody think, well, sell on eBay. But what is eBay? eBay is a true, like, marketplace. Buyers and sellers, right? People sell on eBay. People buy on eBay. People on eBay are looking for a good deal. Um, and, and the quality of the customer is not as high as the quality of the customer on Amazon. Lots of sales, lots of money you made here, but people are coming to Amazon 99.9% .9 of the time for one reason, to buy, not to sell, to buy. So you look at the stock market, you look at eBay's stock is worth about $60, Amazon stock is worth about $800 or $900, okay? So obviously Amazon has a ton more traffic, a ton more qualified buyers, in a lot less sellers. So you can see where I'm going with this. We called it monopoly as in we're monopolizing Amazon because Amazon is not designed for sellers. When you go on eBay, pop-ups are going to come up and go, hey, first time selling? Let me help you out. How you doing? Put this in the box. And they're really going to hug you and hold you. Amazon's like, well, we're all about buyers, but we'll open it up to sellers. Um, we're not going to make it easy, though. So if you don't know what you're doing, it's easy once you see the training, but if you don't know about UPC codes and ASIN numbers and all this stuff, it can be complicated. But I've gone through it just like I went through the mud on eBay, and I've made it very easy for people. So now you have like a, a situation where you have tenfold, a hundredfold more customers looking to buy, okay, and a lot less sellers. And I'll give you a drastic example that I did um, earlier here. This uh, Christmas... My daughter's getting a swing set. My daughter's getting a swing set. She's in the next room, okay? But so that's one of her big gifts. And I want a wooden swing set simply because the neighbor, Eddie Fisher, when I used to grow up in Nova Scotia, Canada, I looked over and his metal swing set was all rusted out when I was a kid and looked like a death trap. So I don't want that in my backyard. It's a death trap. It's bad enough that the wooden swing sets look, you know, kind of terrible after a couple of years from when I'm sitting around my neighborhood. But if she's six, she's cute as a button, she's going to get a swing set. So if I went over to Amazon and I typed in swing set and I looked around, I would say, okay, oh, there's that metal one. That's the Eddie Fisher version, and I want the Eddie Fisher version of the metal swing set. I'm looking for a wooden one. Oh, look at this, $167. And if you read a little further, you realize that's just the brackets and doesn't come with wood. I don't own a cane so I'm not going out in the woods to chop down some wood. I'm interested in going to Lowe's and getting wood and stuff like that. I want a swing set. Same thing here. It's just the brackets. I don't want this little plastic swing here. I don't want this metal swing set. I don't want a water slide. I don't want this metal swing set. I don't want this. I don't want just the brackets. Oh, this is something I'm looking for. This is the all wooden swing set. It's not just the brackets. The wood shows up. Dad spends a a day in the backyard frustrated and puts the dang thing together. That's what I want. Let me click on that and let me get that. See the price in the cart. Okay, how much is this? Um, add to cart, $2,449. I don't want $2,449 swing set, okay? Now, if I go back and I take a look, on the front page, there's, there's nothing there. There's nothing I can buy as a consumer, really, unless I want to pay $2,500 for a swing set plus shipping to pull my hair out in the backyard at $3,000. I mean, she is cute as a button, but $3,000 for a swing set seems a little absurd to me. So we have suppliers where we can get a swing set for $250, $260, $300. Now, you come back, if there's some moms and dads on here, and you happen to want a swing set, or you can envision the picture I'm going through, and also thousands and thousands of consumers, especially this time of year, and they come on here and they're going through and like, ah, oh, the metal one. Oh, look at this. Oh, I can't afford that. And then right here, 
there's one for six hundred or seven hundred dollars and your cost is two or three hundred dollars hmm you're gonna get that sale so Amazon ton of items researching using the tools that we have putting up some items and just selling selling popping 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 because you just don't have the competition this is a swing set for crying out loud let me head over to eBay and if I type in swing set um, on, on eBay oops let me uh, get, fix this swing set and I do a search over here. Oh, look, there's one for 500. Oh, there's one. Let's get John. Oh, look at the, oh, that one's pretty. That one's only 1548. Um, oh, there's those metal. Oh, there's look at that one. That one's tall. Oh, look at this one. Look at that one. So if you're in this jungle with the swing set, mm, you can make a sale using the title optimization stuff like that. And eBay's still fantastic, remember. But I'd rather have my wooden swing set right here, right? Where would you rather have your wooden swing set? Up against old two, five, three grand, or over here, fifteen forty-eight, four ninety-nine. See the difference? We call that monopoly. Monopoly is four hundred ninety-nine dollars one time buy. Back to you, Atesh. Yep, and that's why we said don't even think about monopoly yet. Two one. No, I was. I'm not muted. Yeah. You just couldn't hear me because you're old. Oh. I like that swing set. <laughs> Okay, um, so like we said in the beginning though, you know, Monopoly is like down the road, it's it's what you do, there's, there's other complications in that as well, which we obviously take care of and we go over that too, but it's not right for the beginning and that's why we don't really talk about it very much in here. Um, <clears throat> I also had three or four people ask questions about Market Extreme, okay, so I'm actually going to show you guys very quickly um, what it does because I don't want you to get it without understanding it okay so this is specifically for the people who have already asked about it so all I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the back office and I'm going to go to uh, Market Extreme now there are two things that you can do with Market Extreme you can create your own funnel or you can simply go and get leads okay here's how get leads works this is basically the ultimate I don't want to do anything on this side of the world I don't want to do anything about affiliate marketing and that kind of stuff okay here's a video that will walk you through the whole process but here's literally all you do you put your DST username uh, in here that's your affiliate ID and we also actually build your list oops I forgot to mention the huge benefit we actually will be building your list as well now you've probably heard it said like a million times money's in the list money's in the list blah 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 um, so we actually build the list for you as well so you can actually follow up with people and it's an asset for you because you can use that down the road as well Okay, so here's for example what you do. You select your Aweber or GetResponse, which is a company where you can build a list. And if you don't want to use them, an, an autoresponder, that's fine. And if you don't know the stuff that I'm talking about, if you don't know what an autoresponder is, you don't know what email marketing is, don't worry about it, just skip what I'm about to say. Okay, but for the rest of you who kind of know about it, here's what you'll do. You'll put your list in here. So for example, it could be my DSD list. And you're going to just say how many leads you want. Now here's how I suggest you do it. Let's say that using Pro and Elite, you're making $4,000 a month. I suggest taking whatever is comfortable out of that. Let's say that you take $1,500 out of that, and you're going to buy leads with that. So let's see if I want to buy 800 leads. It's going to cost me $1,480. Now remember, only use the profits that you already have. But what's going to, what's going to happen is um, we're going to now go out, and we will start buying traffic. So you don't have to worry about buying traffic. You don't have to worry about the costs of it. One big danger with doing this yourself is you go out there, you buy a bunch of traffic, you spend a lot of money, but the traffic doesn't convert or the page doesn't convert, anything like that. If that happens, we just basically take on the cost. So you, it, we don't pass the cost on to you. So what will happen is we will go ahead and actually drive the traffic to your list, make sure that we are building your list, then we will follow up with the people who join your list and you can follow up with them on your, you know, yourself as well. And then... We will invite you and we'll get them on this webinar. We will present DS Termination to them and they'll get emails about DS Termination. And when they choose to become a member, you get credit for it, even if you did nothing but just fill out this one form. So that's how the Market Extreme Get Leads part works, okay? Now, some of you might say, hey, you know what? But I want to know how to market myself. I want to learn about all of the stuff. You can go to the training section and we actually have an immense amount of training in here 
that walks you through multiple different ways of generating traffic, free traffic, paid traffic, case studies, all of that stuff is in here if you want to do that. Okay. Again, I don't like to emphasize this one as much because most people are in a situation where they need to begin with the pro and elite stuff. That's why I don't talk about this as much. Actually, this is one of the first webinars where we are really talking about it. And then the final thing that you can do is you can actually go to Activate Legion where you can create your own funnel. Okay. So you don't need to actually create opt-in pages. We actually have them and we have animated effects on them and all that stuff. You just take the, uh, you decide what kind of a page you want to use. You will select whether or not you want us to follow up on your behalf. You can say yes or no. Um, and you'll do the same thing as before. You'll fill out the form and this will create your own unique campaign. And now you can drive traffic to this yourself. It'll tell you how many, tra how many people came in, how many leads were generated and all that kind of stuff. And this will just do the marketing for you on pretty much autopilot as well. The only difference between this and get leads part is that with get leads we actually generate the traffic and we take on the cost in case something goes wrong. We don't pass the cost on to you. It's basically guaranteed you'll get these many leads. Um, in this case, you are basically generating it for yourself and you can drive traffic yourself and you can get results yourself. Okay? So that's in, in a very brief, um, very quick summary, summarization of what Market Extreme is about and how it works. Now what you'll see is what happens is whenever sales are made, they go to pending balance up here and then they move to your approved balance and you can take the approved balance and move that to your bank account, you can get a check for it, you can move it wherever you want in the world basically. And all you do for that is go to affiliate, you'll go to uh, iPayout settings and you'll set up your e-wallet account and then you'll go to a request payout and you'll just type in whatever amount you want to withdraw. If I wanted to withdraw $25, I'd put that and hit submit, it'll reduce my balance by 25 and then start the process of me getting the money in my bank account or in the check form or whatever. Okay, So that's the ease and the simplicity of the whole affiliate side of things as well. And we could like really just do a webinar just about this stuff as well. But here is, um, here is what we're going to do on top of that. First of all, every Wednesday, which is tomorrow, we actually have a live training session for Pro. So if you got pro today, go to this page and you will get a link to register for the webinar for tomorrow. Okay, so register for that and Roger will be on there and he can answer your questions live. Um, then we have an elite webinar tomorrow night, uh, tomorrow night at 10 Eastern time. Pro webinar is at 8 Eastern time, elite webinar is at 10 Eastern time. Okay, so if you're an elite member, you can get on the elite webinar. And then the same way we have an affiliates only webinar every Friday. So on the, on the coming Friday, you'll be able, we'll be able to do a webinar with you. We'll walk you through a lot more training and things like that. Okay? And all of those are completely free. We just, we just teach you stuff on there. Okay? So um, that hopefully gives you guys a very good overview of what DS Domination is about. And once you get in here, you will like, start seeing all sorts of crazy stuff and all sorts of awesome stuff that we haven't had the time to talk about tonight. Um, but, you know... Hopefully, you'll get a lot of unannounced bonuses and prizes once you get inside there. Okay, I'm going to answer just one quick question before, uh, Roger, you can, you know, wave us off and we can, everybody can go to bed or all of you can go to bed, we'll get to work. But um, Jane, to answer your question, um, we are not importing leads into Aweber or GetResponse. That happens in real time. We actually drive traffic to your page that has your Aweber form on it and the person actually opts into your form. Okay, so that's how we do that. It's, it's completely above the board. Aweber loves it and everything is good with that. Okay. Um, this webinar will be uh, posted. It'll, it'll, we'll hopefully have the replay ready for you within 24 hours. And actually less than 24 hours, hopefully in like four hours, it'll be up. And you will find it over here. If you go to affiliate and go to link and promo tools, you're actually going to find these, these webinars over here. These are previous recordings of the webinars that we have done. You can watch these. And they, they have your affiliate ID in the end. So you can actually send these to other people. You can share this with whoever you want and they will get, you will get credit for the sale that comes in from that. Um, you will be able to find these over here. You'll see this will change to webinar recording, last updated Tuesday, November 11th. Okay? Or November 12th, sorry. And that, that's that. So... I hope that answers everything. Roger, are there any questions that we missed? No, I think we're good. I'm ready to wrap it up when you are. Okay, but well, I'm ready. Awesome. 
Guys, I just want to end with this. You know, when I was uh, part of my story was I have about every science degree on the planet, unfortunately, and didn't put them to use. But one of the classes I did take was a philosophy class, and it was uh, one of the things that kind of fascinated me was this gentleman called Descartes and his foundations. And he, he tried to prove what was absolutely real, and the one thing he'd come up with is that um, we do exist. And we all have lives on this call, and there's components to each, each another's lives, and we all have similar components. It's, it's health, it's money, it's family, it's freedom, it's, it's uh, religion. It, there's a lot of aspects to it. it Hitesh and I are far from perfect. We have a, a unique skill set. Um, you know, Hitesh is a very healthy person, and, and I'm not a very healthy person, for example. I, I know how to make money. Hitesh knows how to make money. Sometimes... Um, in our family lives, we, we work too hard um, helping other people, so we're certainly not perfect at that. There's probably a lot of people on here that are a lot better at that than we are. But in encompassing your life from, from start to beginning and, and factoring in all these factors, we believe that this system, um, bar none, is the one that will help you financially with that aspect of your life. And, and it's your choice to take that on and, and enroll this into your life and take this as the best factor moving forward that will help you in achieving financial freedom and then work on the rest of your lives and the rest of the aspects with it. And I want to thank you guys for all being here tonight and taking the time with us and, and entrusting in us all those that uh, got on board and we're going to support you and we're going to deliver. And I want to thank you for being here again and thank you Atesh and have an amazing night. Take care. Learn how you can create an online income by leveraging two of the largest online stores, Amazon and eBay. Click on the link below and get started today.